It's been frightening and frustrating for parents and students at Johnson Junior High. That school reopens tomorrow, but nobody, stills, nobody still knows where the mercury came from. 13 Action News anchor Leslie Marine is live at Walter Johnson Junior High, where she talked to parents who are worried that the scare isn't over. Leslie. Tricia, Steve, we now know the EPA saying they have checked more than 80 homes for mercury. Parents say that while school district officials are sitting uneasy, it's what's in their home now that has them worried. Tomorrow, parents will be able to pick up their students, but today they picked up their students' backpacks after being checked for mercury. We feel a lot of relief, uh, definitely. Just days ago, this mother worried after her son played with the mercury. They just came out to our house uh, Friday night and they scanned our home to look for levels of mercury. And she isn't the only one with the substance found in her home. More than 80 homes were checked. They checked the whole house. Um, they found some in our washing machine. They found a little bit in the girls room and they cleared it all to be levels that they weren't concerned with. One family not so lucky as the levels of mercury are too high. And while the school may be back to normal, Parents are still concerned about how everything was handled. We don't even know if she's going to go back to this school. Maybe she'll go to another school. We don't know. Well, as for the fam as for the family whose home was evacuated, we're told their home will be cleaned up tomorrow. Reporting live, Leslie Maddie in 13 Action News.